so you're not sitting center you are leaning forward so it's like spine is going like this straight namaste to all yogis today we are going to learn amazing practice and the practice name is jalandhar bandha bandha what is bandha how this jalandhar bandha helps us and what is the benefit and what is the technique of doing it the right technique we will discuss in this video let's get start namaste to everyone welcome to youtube channel prashant jay yoga this is prashant and in today's video we are covering about jalandhar bandha to make you understand i have divided this video into few section so you will understand what is jalandhar bandha you will understand the proper position the the physical position how you should do physically you will understand the third step we will learn the breathing how which breath you should do and then we will understand the benefit of doing jalandhar bandha why you should do okay so the first thing that jalandhar bandha the name here jal the water element where is the area of water jalandhar bandha is the area where we work so this is the area of water so in our body every place of the body has the elements area okay so this is the area the stomach this is the area of fire element similarly the area of wind air element is lungs and here the water area is your throat here this area so jalandhar bandha here we work the throat area this is first thing the second thing is that jalandhar bandh why it's bandh what bandha does bandh means binding holding it's like in india we have this dam dam you know when we when we hold the water for electricity the dam water dam so what happens with the dam we store the water in particular area and then from there we utilize it because we store we use this water and later we channelize it through different medium for example if the water is needed to for farming send you can send from there or for electricity we turn the uh, water to that direction same thing bandha does bandha means holding the energy in particular area and then you channelize this energy to heal so basically bandhas are healing practices and pranayam without bandhas not possible and it is said that pranayam the breathing exercise that you do with mudra and with bandha it gives strong benefit and that's the reason today you are learning the first bandha that is called jalandhar bandha so jalandhar bandha means we are bringing the energy area we are holding the energy into that area the throat area and this is the area of vishuddhi chakra vishuddhi chakra and this is very important area actually by the way according to the anatomy if you see most of the nerves goes from here from there to the brain okay and from brain everything is controlled so this main area of the body which is brain it is only working because this track this path is clear this path is very completely fine if any problem we have in this area it can disturb the whole body because control we will lose the control so all the nerves goes from here so if you work here in this area you take care of the whole body at the same time second the thyroid and parathyroid glands are here into that area and these are the two glands which are responsible for human growth and especially for kids okay so anything any changes in human body it happens it it is it is it depend on your thyroid and parathyroid gland so if you do jalandhar bandha basically it helps because it is stimulate this area it help to make this this glands in proper function so that you can be balanced so those who have imbalance issues for example menstruation cycle for women for example weight is over hmm, overweighted suddenly weight is rising or dropping or you feel that your body is not you are eating a lot but your body doesn't uh, receive enough or doesn't uh, react after food so every problem that you have related to this issue i mentioned you practice jalandhar bandha it gives you benefit next 
Because in Jalandhar Bandha, we lock this area. It means we stop the supply, stop the supply of energy from here to up. So what happens? The heat increases in the brain area. And when the heat increases, what happens later when you release the pressure in Jalandhar Bandha, automatically the force of prana and the force of circulation blood goes directly to the brain. And it helps all the cells in the brain which are not functioning very well. So this is also one benefit. Now let's learn the technique. Sitting position. Right now I'm sitting in Padmasana. You can sit in cross leg position also. But Padmasana is very good. Why? Because Jalandhar Bandha position, few things we need to understand in Jalandhar Bandha. So if you see in the book, you will find hands are on the knee. You will find leaning forward like this. And you will find shoulders rising to the ears. And if, you, if I show you from the side, Jalandhar Bandha position is this way. When you lean forward, this. So you're not sitting center. You are leaning forward. So it's like spine is going like this, straight. And this is the position of Jalandhar. And this is main important area. And that's what I'm sitting in Padmasana. Because I can get this in Padmasana. But if I sit in simple cross leg, I will not be able to extend my spine this direction. Either I need to be straight, but straight back will not help because Jalandhar Bandha, the spine has to tilt forward and the direction will be like a cone angle. Hmm? Why it happens? Because in Jalandhar Bandha, the energy flow goes from lumbar to up. So you need to really give extension to the spine and that's the reason we are leaning forward a little bit. So I will recommend those who cannot sit in Padmasana, you can, if you want to learn Padmasana, in the link I have uh, put the Padmasana video, you can go and learn the Padmasana how to do right way. Or you can see here somewhere, this is the Padmasana video and you can learn this Padmasana. If you cannot do Padmasana due to some reason, maybe knees are hurting or some injury, take a cushion, which I always keep with me, and sit on cushion with a cross leg. So this is how it works, the first of all. Now, second thing, once you learn that this is sitting position and this is tilting is very important, next part comes arms. In Jalanda Bandha, when we do, you first of all, hands will be like this, top of the knee, okay? And fing it will not be side, it will be top. And your arms will be always straight when you are in the final position, which I will show. So arms are straight, shoulders are up, because when the shoulders are up, you lock and make the neck little short. Because this is neck lock, throat lock. So you need to make a lock means you need to make compression a little bit, so that the wind will not go again back to this area or there's no space into that, you are completely closing and that's the reason shoulders up like this. Chin will touch down to the chest here, chin will touch down. So, but when we learn the Jalandhar Bandha, many of the, many of us, we learn from the books. So in books, it is written that Chibukam down means chin down, head down. So people just, they bend the, uh, the neck. But it is not about bending the neck. Understand how to do this Jalandhar Bandha. The movement when we do is this. When the, the shoulders are up, we first, shoulder comes later. First, when we make a lock of neck, we first bring the atlas area, the, the top of the head, the spinal area. We bring it back like this. Can you see that? This. So you will not drop the chin you will not bend the neck from the cervical down. You will always first tilt your head. Okay, this head, this, which is a free movement from the atlas where the skull touching, where the spine touch the skull. This area has to go down first. And that's what I said. Chin will go back. First step. Second step, chin will go down. Third step. And now neck is bending to go down this so do not directly bring the head down no first chin will go back one second down third is round so when you do final pose shoulder up at the end so first this 
one, this two, this three, and then shoulder later and press the knee four. This is the final step, and this is how you will go.